All right, here's what I'm calling my forever spin. And uh, I don't claim that this is going to run forever. It's just a cute name, so I thought I would use it on this thing. And this is the latest progression on what I've been working with here. And that's these uh, little drive units that come out of these solar-powered toys. And I hooked it up with a solar panel, a bigger one, much bigger, uh, with a blocking diode here, and then a 10 farad, 2.7 volt supercapacitor. And I thought, well, this is going to work. I tried it for a while, and it ran, ran 24 hours a day, just fine, uh, near a window. And then I got to wondering, what's going to happen if I overfill that capacitor? It's probably going to blow that circuit, that delicate circuit. So I thought, well. I'll put a voltage limiter on it. I'll put an LED on that thing. That when it gets to a certain voltage, it'll dump the power through that LED. And it seems to be working. And uh, this is the circuit diagram here. And you can uh, freeze frame this and take a look at it. Uh, what it is, is it's a, a way to get energy into a system. It's a 3 volt, 70 milliampere hour, milliampere hour solar panel. A Schottky diode that um, keeps the energy from draining backwards when the sun goes down. This is a 10 farad, 2.7 volt supercapacitor. And then this white LED that when this voltage gets over 2.2 volts, that LED starts dumping the energy through it and lights up. And it's a very good LED that below 2 volts, it shuts off completely down to less than one microamp of leakage which lets all the power go to this drive unit here which spins the rotor. And then I have an on off switch here which is over there on that side uh, right there so that if I want to I can shut off the motor and then just use the LED light. And what I tried today was I just set this out in the sun and let that fill up with that uh, solar panel and uh, this runs for quite a long time on a 10 farad super cap, that white LED. So <clears throat> when they're running together, it also runs for quite a long time. So anyway, this is the latest thing that I've, I've developed here. And what's on the back here is the LED with the two open ends that I can take a battery pack here and give you an, an idea, a demonstration of what happens when I fill up that capacitor with the three volts that comes off of that in bright sunlight. So watch the LED. I'm going to fill this up with this uh, battery pack. And you can see it simulates what happens in the bright sunlight if I put this in bright sunlight. Okay, there's the LED on bright now. And what that's doing is that's pulling off energy at about 20 milliamps out of that cap there to protect the circuit from a, a huge current draw through it and it appears to be working. I ran it all today in and out of the sun uh, several times to see if it would blow up the circuit and so far no it hasn't. And uh, it spins up the motor pretty fast when that thing is on bright. So. Uh, it really does rev it up quite a bit, but it seems to be able to handle it as long as that LED is pulling off the current. So anyway, this is what I'm calling the um, Forever Spin, and uh, I'm lid motor, and it's uh, 28th of uh, January <coughs> 2013. And we'll just see how this thing runs. This is going to be a situation where I'm going to have to feed it uh, like you would feed a pet, basically, with enough energy to keep this filled up enough to run through the night. And the way you do that is you have to position this somewhere in your house. Uh, this is an inside device. It doesn't go outside. But somewhere in a house where it's close enough to a sunny window that it gets enough during the day to run through the night and then the, is running in the morning. And uh, I have tested this uh, without the LED, and uh, it can make it quite easily through the night on a filled up uh, tin fared cap. So I'm not worried about that at all. So... Anyway, that's the latest little project. This is my forever spin, and I'll give a report later on on, on how she's doing. But uh, this was kind of the end product that I wanted. I wanted something to run, a rotational device to run all the time. And uh, it's, uh, 
not that big a deal. You just got to have a big enough solar panel and enough way to store the energy, and it's it's very doable. But uh, doing it in a small toy size uh, is a little harder. So anyway, that's the latest. Thanks for watching.